Welcome to Physics of Video Games, and today we are doing Physics of Baldur's Gate 3. Specifically, this incident that happened live in my Twitch stream. Let's see what this does. I'm not sure about that, but okay. I'm a bit worried about what that release break lever would have done. Oh, that's... Before anyone judges me, I genuinely did not know what that lever would do. I am a type of player who presses anything and everything to see what happens, but I also don't scum save, so I continued the gameplay with the way it was. Let's do some circular motion physics and projectile motion on poor dead Barkus. First of all, I needed some confirmation that gravity was very similar to Earth as it is in this universe. We did find some official tweets by the creators of the D&D world, and we found that a falling object travels 177 meters in six seconds. We were able to determine that gravity was pretty much similar to Earth, 9.81 meters per second squared. We also need to determine the length of the windmill blades and we're able to do some rough estimation calculations using screenshots and hoping that everything is perpendicular because alignment can be a bit of an issue. We were able to confirm as well with other models that this does seem to be close enough to the truth. We determined that the radius of our circular motion is 11.77 meters, which is the length of the windmill blade. Doing analysis on this video clip, we were able to determine that eight blades cross over in 3.3 seconds. There is four blades in one circle, so we were able to determine the amount of rotations per second that occurred. In this case, that is 0.61, but we want everything in rads per second. Multiply by 2 pi, and you get 3.83 rads per second. Finally, using the equation velocity is equal to radius times angular velocity, we are able to calculate by Marcus's velocity trajectory at the point that he escapes the windmill. We found his velocity to be 45.07 meters per second. That's really, really fast. Not only that, we actually calculated his centripetal acceleration as well. Using centripetal acceleration that is equal to the velocity squared over the radius, we're able to determine that his acceleration was 172 meters per second squared, which to put in perspective, is 17 Gs. Gnome physiology can be different. I'll put it up for debate, but the poor Crather really was tortured. And chances are he probably would have died on the rotation of that windmill. Nonetheless, he continues to scream as he's been flung through the air. So it is safe to assume that he is still alive. We have to do a bit of guesswork here, uh, but we were able to calculate that the height of his trajectory of launch was roughly about 20 meters from the surface of the ground. And the angle looked roughly 30 degrees. Also nicely 30 degrees makes the maths a little bit easier. Resolving these vectors, we were able to find that his Y component is 22.5 meters per second and his X component is 39 meters per second. Finally, what we really wanna do is find out the height upwards he launched so that we know his total height when he reaches the ground how far did he actually have to fall and if there was any chance of survivability. The only thing that is opposing him is gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared. Using the wide trajectory calculations, we were able to determine that he was flung into the air about 25 meters. So he has 25.9 meters to come down on top of the 20 meters of the height of the windmill. Adding those things together, that is 45.9 meters. That is a very large story building apartment block thing to jump from that's that's really really high his velocity on impact we can also calculate was 30 meters per second from this we can actually calculate his momentum momentum is equal to mass times volume we know what the average mass of a gnome is or you can go into his details and his stats we found it to be roughly 35 and so his momentum was 1050 kilograms meters per second the conclusion of this video is I take no responsibility for Barkus's death because chances are he was probably dead on the windmill. Yeah. To anyone who doesn't know me, I am a physicist from Ireland and I play video games on Twitch and try to make physics educational and relatable. So if you have any ideas or if you're interested in hanging out, make sure to come out and hang live with me on Twitch. Take care of yourself and don't pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk. Run!